Hi there, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to, I'm going to draw some cards. Just have a look at the month of February. So I'm just having a card, a bit of a shuffle here to put the energy of the month. So today's the 1st of February. So I thought, well, I'll do something a bit different and let's have a look at the month as a whole. So what I'm going to do is draw a card for each week. There's four weeks in the year. And I'm also going to draw a fifth card, which will be a help card. Okay, I might also give these a quick shuffle. And let's just see what comes out the top. Okay, so what's coming up here? Well, the first week we've got the sun. And then we've got the seven of pentacles. Ah, and we've got the king of wands. Wow and the Ten of Cups. Look at that. We've got a Major Arcana and we've got, I'll shoot my pointer here, we've got a Pentacles card, we've got a Wands card, we've got a Cups card. Okay, and let's see what a Helper card is. Ah, wouldn't you know it. Okay, so let's just put these in view a little better. We've drawn the Ace of Cups. So this is what I'm going to call my Helper card the card of the overall month but what I love about this reading is we've got a major arcana and we've got all various elements represented for the month so this is quite an extraordinary month um, and as I look at it I think okay so we're going to start the first week with the sun well you know think about the sun I mean have a look at this card how could you not but love this card I mean definitely enthusiasm abundance um, joy um, you couldn't be happy if you if you're looking in this week at a situation where you need to answer a question you, you're getting a fairly strong yes but you also get you know have fun enjoy life you know be free you know looking at this imagery here you know think about yourself if you were riding around in a beautiful white horse and you were naked you know what what sort of state would you be in you'd be absolutely free you would be uh, loving life you'd be totally comfortable in yourself um, look at this beautiful red um, array here or there's this but they're carrying a flag of some sort or and it's brilliantly red so it's full of passion and life and energy um, the sun is shining we've got these beautiful sunflowers in the background um, you know our inner child is is wanting to say to us be happy enjoy life celebrate um, make the most of what's happening you know it's also when I look at this card it is a major arcana so I think there's also an essence of what is your true self you know maybe not so much being bogged down in the day-to-day -day and all the stuff we have to deal with on the day-to-day -day activity but pay attention to where is your real heart your real soul your real self and are you connected with that are you connected with who you are um, are you embracing who you are are you um, connected with your sense of your higher self or your or spirit or um, however you might see that which is greater than the everyday you know this card the sun you know you can't help but think there's obviously luck on the horizon it's very positive it's very energetic um, enthusiasm you know all those sort of things you know when you look at this imagery this person's obviously full of uh, you know it's a young person because I think that's trying to say to you it's about don't get too serious about the about the day-to-day -day. it's about look inside your spirit and your heart and that you know you're always you're always young at heart and and that vitality of being in that place is a place of uh, vitality and, and uh, positivity and, and so forth. So, you know, when the sun is around, we all feel energized. And that is what this week is, the potential of this week is there. So if you're looking at situations this week, ask yourself in your heart of hearts, you know, connect with your spirit. What, where is, is the answer for you that is your higher self, is, is that connection, you know. Um, and avoid perhaps getting overly caught up in the day-to-day -day, particularly if the day-to-day -day has some hardships and we do have mercury retrograde at the moment so there are some day-to-day -day things and you know I know my equipment's been act, you know playing up and I'm having all sorts of problems with computers and this that and the other and and that's the joys of mercury being retrograde so you know if I don't take that too seriously and go with the flow and stay connected to that which is more important the things that I really care about then um, the week will, will, will shine and, and be very sort of a brilliant sunshine week 
Okay, so that's this week. Um, first week. Second week we have drawn the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so have a look at this imagery. You know, we've got these pentacles on this branch or tree and I've got one down here and this person is sort of looking, they're looking at cultivating something, you know, they, they've got a plow or something and they're kind of thinking about, you know, well, what do I want to do with my life? You know, what is it? How do I want to manifest my um, energy in this world? What do I want to create? You know, what I, what, uh, looking at things, you know, pentacles, personal security, um, um, it's looking at, you know, it is looking at money, but it's also looking at, you know, how I want to manifest, how I want to connect with Earth, how I want to um, participate in life. And the Seven of, of Pentacles is saying, okay, you're going to perhaps get tested around that, you know. And as I think next to the sun, I think it's saying, you know, if you are in a place where you're at your true self and you're really connected with your soul and your heart and spirit, then you will be able to know, yep, I'm on the right path or how do I need to modify? You You will find any testing of your um, convictions around what's right for you will be a breeze. However, if I think if this the opposite, if you find yourself getting caught up in all the day-to-day -day rubbish and, and you're not really connecting with your true self or you're not being true to yourself you may find this t period quite challenging a week where you're going to feel a little bit bombarded by these tests or challenges or questions you know so as I look at this card this person is contemplating they're thinking you know not making decisions but they are really thinking about you know what road have I been on what skills and abilities have I accumulated what do I want to grow more of you know am I happy with what I've achieved is there more to do um, how can I use my passion and my energy and my my being to that which is um, more connected to my inner self? You know, where are my options at the moment? Um, which way should I go? You know, I'm thinking about my options, thinking about my choices. I'm maybe reevaluating my past, where I've been, what I've done, what I've learned, what I've studied, how I've engaged in the world, and and is that is that right now? Does that fit with what my new sense of of, of connectedness to my inner being? And so that's sort of week two, you're going to find those sort of circumstances and energies are going to dry, sort of give you the opportunities to go there. So it's always an opportunity. Okay, week three, we've brought in the King of Wands. Okay, so immediately we've got a king, which means that it's that masculine energy of really owning and wanting to be engaged and actively engaged in the, um, uh, here, the wands, which is the fire, which is enthusiasm, which is passion, which is doing, you know, it represents things like competition and um, you know, anything where you think you feel get fired up about it, you know, that's what you think of when you think of wands. And the king, he really rules the roost on this. So this is the kind of personality and as a being a court card, this is either you yourself, your bit of your personality that wants circumstances or situations will want you to shine and be the king of wands for yourself. Or you might find that you draw someone into your life, into your situations that uh, represent that because that is what's needed. Maybe it's something that you want to become uh, stronger at or the situation needs that energy and so you're going to find you start attracting it. And, you know, this is the person who is the wonderful um, Oh, a visionary, you know, it's those wonderful visionaries and they're the true leaders of the world, you know, not necessarily good managers, but they're fantastic leaders and they love to have a great idea and they're very passionate about it. They definitely follow through, you know, when you've got the king of wands around, things aren't going to be done half-hearted. There's definitely going to be a lot of energy around following through. You know, they're the sort of, because that king force is, is the mastery of that element of fire, and, and that's really important in this situation, that, that the uh, project or the uh, situation will definitely be followed through on. So you can rely on that. And if it's you, then people are going to be looking to you for that. You know, they love adventure and they're passionate about the things they do and they love to have fun. But they, you know, they also like, they have a big ego. They like to get the work done. So you're going to find that when you're looking at this, this King of Wands is facing the Seven of Pentacles. So it's like, you know, again, you're going to be sort of, 
thinking about and questioning and wondering a little bit about how do I make money and how do I work in the world and how do I manifest and use my energy to manifest things and here you're going to be given saying okay so you've found a new direction and you've made it you're thinking about this that and the other you know here's the energy for it you know uh, you're going to get fired up about it again if you're on the right path then brilliant you know lots of energy to make these changes and to get things going if you've gone a little off stray you might find that energy just sort of get you all fired up and maybe creates a bit more confusion so the key is definitely going to be to stay centered to be connected with yourself you know let that sun shine through the whole week um, you know and also I noticed um, the king of wands you know because of being the king of wands is also around you know that boundless possibilities and that can relate to things like technology too and things like that because it's about that fast moving energy and fire um, and luckily by this time I think if I remember uh, Mercury will be now direct because it goes direct I think it's February the 11th so that's that's going to be very advantageous there okay last week what have we come to we've got the ten of cups wow what do you look at this card well there's all these fantastic cups it's a ten so it's both completions and beginnings and they're having there's a celebration going on so you know, you're going to find that there's going to be, you're going to be drawn in this week to be being very connected around how's your heart feeling are you feeling that yes um, you could there's things in life to celebrate you know there's always things going wrong in life but what about looking at the things that maybe there are it, it, no matter how big small different square round triangular there are things in your life that when you look at them that you know that you can celebrate it that you want to celebrate it and the more you celebrate them the more you stay connected to wow look what really has happened this month that you know I have things have changed things have moved of course they've changed because no day is ever the same so when you look at this week here you're going to have lots of opportunities in your heart to connect with your heart and look to see how can I celebrate how can I embrace that to which I have achieved you know how can I look back upon what I have done and, and celebrate it and how can I celebrate the new beginnings or the new inspirations or the new passion that is coming into my life you know if it's another person that's come in with a brilliant idea of something that you know I could really get excited excited about then great let's celebrate that so as you look at this um, ten of cups you're definitely going to be focusing on this the celebration and wanting to celebrate so as I said, the, I've drawn the fifth card here and it's the Ace of Cups. And I love it because, um, you know, we've got another cup card. But not only that, we've got the Ace. And um, I'm really excited about that because if you look at this Ace, you know, what more can you say but it's a gift from God or grace or spirit. Um, you know, we've got this overflowing cup of so joy and happiness and love and we've, it's coming in. It's like a cloud. It's been given to us as a gift. And we've got a dove sitting up here to represent, you know, this is spirit coming down and feeding into this cup. And it's this combination of, you know, and our readiness to receive it, you know, as this water overflows, you know. And so when I look at the Ace of Cups, it's about, you know, this abundant potential for um, heartfelt moments you know it's definitely it's about compassion it's about love um, and and I look at that and I think wow you know um, there is so much in that you know and and that that is something definitely to celebrate and actually I've just realized we are missing the sword so we don't have all the elements um, apologies there Swords are missing, but that's okay because sometimes the thing that's missing is also something to pay attention to. And I think the fact that in the Seven of Pentacles, I often think this contemplation is definitely an element of thought. I also look at the sun and think it's about your values and beliefs, so that's also an element of swords. Um, I look upon the King of Wands and this passion here. He's a very intelligent, he represents that sort of being very intelligent, that visionary that has that wisdom and intelligence. So, so in my mind, actually, I guess when I looked at this, I thought, yeah, the swords are there because they may not be represented in a card, but they're represented in meaning and the way they're positioning themselves. So to my mind, I, I see the sword. So I think that's where my intuition was going in that moment. Um, but back to this Ace of Cups. So I look upon this and think, okay, this is your helper card. This is, I think of this as the card that is going to help you pull all these weeks together 
and make the most of this month of February, you know, 2015, you know, a month that will never come again, you know, um, each day is a moment that will never come again. And so we each, all of us have this opportunity to really embrace it and, and do something with it. So this ACE is about pure uh, self-acceptance and when you look at it with the sun you know this this ace is this ace of cups is sitting I think in the heart of this of this being this young person this this our one wonderful inner child sitting on this wonderful white horse of spirit and this ace of cups is about total self-acceptance about grace it's about guidance it's about compassion so if whatever's going on in your life if you're feeling like you need um, some injection of um, guidance uh, if you feel you need spirit or God or your higher self to give you some just some love and a you know some some grace this card is there so also I often feel when the ace of cups are around it's saying that you know things are very positive things have great potential there is something far greater going on around you than you may be realizing so all up this month I feel that this reading is definitely aligning with stay connected to your higher self stay connected to your spirit um, really put the passion and energy into that connection go forward with love and grace and compassion for yourself and for others celebrate all the wins that you have in your life stay focused on that don't get bogged down into the day-to-day -day trivia or day-to-day -day challenges that everybody faces and you will find that at the end of this month you'll look back and go wow what an amazing month and even though things will happen and life will you know, have its hiccups in the month, you'll be able to look back and really embrace and take forward some great learnings that will have come and some great sense of heart. So I hope you found that useful. It's been um, delightful to be with you today. If you'd like a private reading, please check me out my website, which is www.kerawoods.com. Find me on Facebook, find me on Twitter at Kira Woods Tarot. Please share my videos. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please um, forward, uh, if you, you know, connect with me on Facebook, please um, share my posting so uh, more people can uh, catch up with me. Leave me your thoughts and comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and uh, check out my website for some free offers. And I'd um, love to give you a reading. So please connect. Have a fantastic day. Thanks very much and I look forward to catching you in my next video.